Today, I'm going to show you step by step how you can wire and program a OLED screen on CircuitPython. I'm Brogan Pratt, and I've been teaching robotics for over 10 years now, and all of my tutorials include no fluff. So let's go get started. This video is intended for absolute beginners. So if you've never touched a jumper cable or you've never done any lines of code, I'm going to step through step by step. How do you wire one of these up in multiple different ways? And then how do you use CircuitPython to program it so that you can use it as a debug or an output display? for a project of yours. We've got two different OLED screens here. One is a 1.3 inch, one is a 0.96 inch. They are both 128 by 64 pixels uh, and wiring them is the exact same. You could take a wire, you could directly solder for these pads. You can go ahead and solder on one of these pinouts and that allows you to grab a breadboard, connect it to that breadboard and then use jumper wires to be able to connect it to your robotics project. Or you can use one of these Stemma output JST connectors, which is really handy because it's a four pin that automatically connects out your clock and your data. And that's what I'm going to use for this. So on the back of my device, I'm going to make sure that I connect it to the left hand side when I'm looking at this. These connectors only go in one way. Then I've got four cables out. I have red, yellow, blue, and black. Red and black are your power and ground respectively. Yellow is your clock and blue is your data. So let's go ahead and actually connect those in. The yellow wire to SCL for clock. I'll connect the blue wire to SDA for data. And then I'm gonna make sure I connect this to my 3.3 volts and then ground. You do not wanna connect this to five volts. This is a 3.3 volt display. And that's it, wiring up is super simple. Let's head over and start coding this up. So over on Moot Editor here, I'm making sure that I've loaded up our code.py file. So I'm gonna go ahead and click load. With my CircuitPy device inside, I'm loading in the code.py. Uh, and in here, the first thing we can do is to start with our libraries. We always start with board, import board, import time. We're also gonna import terminal IO or terminal in out. And then we're also gonna import Adafruit underscore display IO underscore SSD 1306. Now you can find this library in the description down below. Make sure this is added to in your finder window. This should be on the lib folder inside here, and it is a full folder that you can have to add inside. And finally, we're going to import display IO. Now, the first thing we need to do is release any displays that are currently attached to our device. So we're going to go ahead and say display IO dot release underscore displays, open close brackets. Then we need to add a reset pin for it. So we're going to say OLED underscore reset is equal to board dot D9. In my case on the Metro M4 Express, the Metro M0 Express it is D9. Yours might be different. So check that in your, check that in your documentation. Then because this connects over the I2C bus, we're going to say I2C is equal to board dot I2C, open close. And then our display underscore bus is equal to display IO dot I2C display. And we're going to pass in our I2C object, our device underscore address is going to be zero X 3D, and then our reset pin is going to be our OLED underscore reset object. Now we're going to define our widths and our heights of our display. So we're going to go ahead and make these constants. In Python, we do that with a capital. So our width is going to be 128 because that's the width of my display. Our height is going to be 64. And we're going to add a little bit of padding here so that we don't end up expanding out beyond this. Now you could have a little bit less of a padding here. You could have a, a three pixel border or a two pixel border. I like a five pixel border. It adds a nice little bit of extra. Now, last thing we do is actually make our display. So we're going to say display is equal to Adafruit underscore display IO underscore SSD 1306 dot SSD 1306. And then we're going to pass in our display bus. We're going to pass as our width is going to be equal to our constant of width. And our height is going to be equal to our constant of height. 
Now at this point, any print statement that you write should actually show up on your MicroPython board. So I'm gonna do a quick loop here. So I'm gonna say for i in range five, I simply want to print, this is loop, and then I'm gonna put an i. I'm gonna say time dot sleep for one second after that. So let's go ahead and save this over to our board. If we look at our serial output, it should be this is loop zero, loop one, loop two, loop three, loop four, and then end. Now let's take a look at what it looks like on the external device. So I'm gonna go ahead and press reset on the board here. And you notice that this is loop zero, loop one, loop two, loop three, loop four, and then done. And anything that prints out that serial is gonna print out to this page. So I hope you found that tutorial helpful and best of luck with your robotics project.